Baseball News Club here. We've got a re- update on a conclusion to a sad story. Former Rays prospect Brandon Martin convicted of triple murder. Now, Brandon was selected in the 38th selection of the first round 2011 Major League Draft by the Tampa Bay Rays. He received a $860,000 signing bonus and was compared to Yankees legend Derek Jeter. He had a great glove and great bat. He played three seasons with Tampa Bay and was released in early 2015. Now in his first professional year in the minor leagues, he was successful. However, off the diamond, he rented a $6,000 a month mansion in Yorba Linda. At the time he lived there, from 2011 to 2012, the police responded 19 times. Uh, there was loud parties, fights, blood everywhere. Uh, roommates who used to live with them said there was cocaine, there was drugs, there was drinking. So a lot of partying going on in that first year. And in addition, he had some type of undiagnosed mental disorder. After a successful minor league season, he moved into Nether House where he continued his partying, and then he started seeing signs of trouble with him. He was getting in trouble with his Kentucky coaches. Um, He was sent home after failing three drug tests for marijuana, and he would be disrespectful to coaches and they would send him home. Um, The Rays suspended Martin until 2014, then on March 26, 2015, they released him from his contract. Before the incident occurred, he actually was living with his parents in Corona, California. He continued to abuse drugs. He was just very erratic, talking to himself sometimes. He was very violent with his mom and dad. In fact, in one incident, he held his mom choking her and held scissors to her. The police showed up and he was put under 72-hour mental health examination. County records showed he was diagnosed with mood disorder and drug abuse. Now, the crime in question on September 17, 2015, he was released from the mental health facility. His parents didn't want him in the home, so they called out ADT to install security. At the home was his dad, Michael Martin, along with his uncle, Ricky Anderson, and the ADT technician, Barry Swanson. When he showed up, immediately upon arriving, Brandon grabbed his own baseball bat, attacked his dad, who was in a wheelchair, killing his dad. The ADT alarm installer, Barry Swanson, tried to stop the attack. Brandon then attacked him with the bat killing him as well, and then Ricky Anderson, his uncle, tried to intervene. Brandon beat him with the bat and dragged him into the garage. And then at that time, Martin stole the victim's wallet, cell phones, along with Swanson's vehicle, and he actually went to Carl's Jr. for dinner after that. Now, after the attack, when he stole the ADT truck, he hid overnight, and then he was spotted by an off-duty police officer, and then he was involved in a car chase. Martin then bailed out of his truck and ran into a home. And then he was basically chased down by the police and a police dog and taken into custody. He's currently awaiting his sentencing. Obviously, he's going to be in jail forever and might be facing death penalty because California does have it. But very sad case. A young man, undiagnosed mental disorder combined with drugs, which usually exasperates the condition. And then, you know, all that money thrown at him at a young age. I think just everything was just too much for him. Very sad story. Also very sad for the people that lost their lives. But this is the story of Brandon Martin's baseball career and the ending to that career.